It's time to get a little bit into SQL scripting. Um, the statements and expressions we've done this far are part of that scripting language, but it's time to get a little bit more uh, formal. You can think of it a little bit as uh, your normal programming you've seen in other courses, except this is scripting, and so the idea with scripting is there's is a lot of things are checked at runtime and that kind of thing. I mean, if you notice, there's no compilation step, at least that we've ex directly experienced with with these SQL things. We just hit F5, the SQL server makes an execution plan and then executes it. So a little bit of a difference there between scripting and, and compilation. We could get into that more in detail, but let's not. Let's just get into uh, what we use day in and day out. So first thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to declare a variable. It's really easy. Just say declare. You could do this all uppercase. Now variables in SQL, um, they must be prefixed with a at symbol. If you try, I, I can't remember what happens if you don't have it. But if you don't have it, it's an error. So I'm going to say uh, my var here, and I have to give the variable a type. And the type I'll give it is let's say int, and then so this uh, basically declares it, defines it, says hey it exists. And so to use it, I can say set at my var gets five, and then if I want, I, I can select at my var, and, and so that if I run that, we see that my var select still returns a table, but the table only has one row, one column, and uh, it returns the value of my var. Now I can also do um, select at my var gets five, and then select at my var. Um, Really, there, there's no difference between set and select. I generally use set if I'm doing direct variables here. Select, though, select lets you do, um, lets you pull information from a table as we've been doing uh, all quarter long. So, watch what I'm going to do here. Uh, select at my var gets max order ID uh, from orders. And it looks like I'm set up to use Northwind, so let's run that. And notice I didn't uh, actually uh, select anything. This, the select here, it's actually doing an assignment, but it's not pulling. It doesn't return a table when I use it like this. So, so watch what here. I can go select uh, at my var. Again, like I had there, looks like the max order ID is 11077. Another useful tool I could do, instead of saying select at my var, I can say print at my var. And run that, and actually prints it out here to the console type of thing. Um, print literally is just printing it versus select. When I have select, that, that actually returns a value I could use in in, uh, in more interesting ways. So notice uh, here we have the type name following the variable declaration uh, versus other languages. You're probably used to saying something like int at my var. What you'll notice is SQL scripting is very verbose. It takes a lot. For example, I just can't define the type and the variable name, I have to say declare out here. And you'll see other more, in my opinion, gross examples of some very wordy scripting. Uh, I can declare two variables in one line. So I can say at your var, and let's just make this var char 10. And so then select, or let's just set, set at your var gets low select at your var, select my var. So here's your var right here. Here's my var. Notice I can declare two variables in the same. I can keep going, same line. I can keep going with these commas all I want, but I must define the type after each one. You could also put the value right here. We could say six, just like you've seen in other languages. So select at my var. You see we have the six here, hello, and 11077. So let's, let's get into doing a Simple. Well, this video is probably long enough. That's that's variable declarations in a nutshell. You can put any type out here, any of the SQL types that you want.